Through at 11, it's the Northeast Portland bookstore that gained national fame when Portlandia hit the air. But tonight, we've learned that the real life store is in danger of closing. The store is called, in other words, it's different from the name of the store on the show. But this real store had an emergency meeting just yesterday. Now, on the Portlandia show, it's called the Feminist Bookstore. Jennifer Hoff. I uh, talked to the store owners and they said there's only one way this store can remain open. Right, but it involves three different things. I learned it comes down to a major influx of new volunteers, new board members, and of course donations. In fact, the store has a $5,000 goal just this month. And with the support of that popular television show, some hope that its 21-year run won't come to an end. A weekend meeting at In Other Words has its volunteers' minds spinning with solutions to save the bookstore. And if this closes, that, you know, it's just one less place for people to feel accepted and to learn. The store hopes Carissa Stearns is the start of a new wave of fresh volunteers to keep it afloat. And I came in to just kind of see it, and I realized, oh, you're looking for volunteers. And I, you know, read kind of like their mission. I'm like, oh, this, this, I like this. This really fits. What are you drinking? Uh, can't put you, 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 the comedy series Portlandia films its feminist bookstore sketches here. She's no lady. That's actually a series. And it has raised awareness of the store and support, like I found in this tweet. Just not any money. We definitely don't rake in thousands and thousands of dollars every time they film. We don't get royalties. We don't, you know... We don't get anything like that. I learned from a former board member the store is losing hundreds of dollars a month, in part because of falling textbook sales. And if it closes, would leave maybe only a dozen feminist bookstores left in the country. If, in other words, closed, I think my heart would break a little bit. The store is hoping for a financial surge and more board members. It has three, which is the fewest a nonprofit can legally have. Volunteers say what is still here is a drive to keep the unique space and feminism alive. It's very important that we have a center where this can thrive. Okay, so we talked about that meeting yesterday. There's going to be another follow-up meeting on November 8th. In the meantime, the store is really encouraging people to get the word out. If it doesn't get what it needs, the store is projected that it could close, projecting that it could close the end of February, February 28th to be exact. So we've put a link on coin.com with all the information if you know anybody thinks that they might be able to help. And it's, also, it's sad because, you know, this, they have so much publicity from the show, but it's just a tough time, I would think, for bookstores in general. Yeah. And they said that with the e-readers and tablets yeah. and all that out there. People just aren't really going to bookstores no. in general anymore. So. No, especially the specialized right. bookstores. Right. Thanks, Thank Jennifer. Yep.